Hey guys, welcome back to All Things Nice. It's your host, Fletcher, and today we are taking a look at the Victorinox Super Tinker. All right, I'm going to tell you guys how much I got this for. $30. $30 for a Swiss-made multi-tool. And it has just about everything you'll need except pliers. All right, let's go through all the tools it's got. Small blade. Big blade. Scissors. Very good scissors, might I add. Very sharp. I used these the other day at work. Flathead slash bottle opener. I've yet to use the bottle opener. I'm looking forward to it, though. Can opener. Move on to the back. Phillips. T. Phillips. This one's always a pain to get out. Parcel hook. Punch. All, I guess, is what you'd call it. Toothpick. Tweezers. Only thing this thing's missing for me would be a little pen, and it would be perfect. But, Super Tinker, it's $30, and you get just about everything you'd ever want of, on a Victorinox system. Just about everything you'd need. Blades are rather nice. I did actually use this guy... This isn't quite a review, it's first impressions, but I used this guy for scraping the other day. I had this and my Manix 2 on me. It's actually a very good pairing, if you guys are curious. I think also a very good pairing would be these two, like a, like a hard-use knife. So the Manix 2, but maybe not the lightweight, the full size, or maybe a Shaman, and then you do one of these. Killer little EDC going on. But... Go back to this guy. I think that for $30, this is a phenomenal deal. I actually, between, right, so you guys have seen the other, you guys have seen the other two videos already. Between these two, I like this one the most. The only thing it's missing is a pen. So I think I'm going to try the compact next and the Spartan Light. The Spartan Light doesn't have a pen on it, but it has a flashlight. And I think I want to try those next and see how they do. Let me know what your guys is. Uh, experience has been with either one of those. I was looking on Victorinox's site, and they do actually offer a uh, fisherman's. They one they call the fisherman. I might get that for my fishing kit, I think, because that'd be a pretty good little thing to have while I'm out and fishing. Just throw that in my kit. It's got a descaler on it, so I can descale my fish. It's pretty cool. I do actually rather like the... I like this. And I like that I get a Phillips. I'm curious to see how the compact does, because it has a pen. I know you guys have seen a lot of these recently, of the Victorinoxes. This is probably the third video in, the row, in a row of Victorinox, me unboxing. I've had quite a week buying these because they're so cheap. And they arrive by Amazon right to your door. And they carry really well in the pocket. Like this and my Manix. This in my right pocket, this in my left pocket, no problem. Absolutely no problem. Only thing that I would change about this, I don't really need two blades, and I don't really need a can opener. So what I would probably do would be get rid of this, this, make it a little thinner, and then instead of having this on the back, do one of the inline ones. So I actually, I guess you'd keep the thickness. Do one of the inline ones that fold out, like on the Huntsman. And then you could do the corkscrew with the eyeglass screwdriver. And I think that would actually be a really good combination because you can use that corkscrew to get knots undone. You can work your way in there on knots. And then the little eyeglass screwdriver is nice because uh, everyone wears sunglasses or you know someone who wears eyeglasses. But... All in all, I still actually really enjoy this, and I think we're going to have more Victorinox uh, content, which for my European viewers and those not in the U.S. where they have stricter knife laws, that'll actually be very nice for you guys, because this is actually something you guys can carry, and it's relatively cheap. I do think that on my top five, because I, I carried this for a day, and I actually got some use out of it, and I'd recommend this for 30 bucks. I think this is going to take the spot of if I do another top five budget knives, 
this is knocking something off of that list. But as always, guys, leave your thoughts down below. Let me know what you're... I mean, just about everyone's owned a Victorinox, so let me know what you guys think of them. As always, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and stay sharp.